In the middle of one of Tasmania's most disadvantaged suburbs, a shed once used for drying onions has been converted into a beauty laboratory. How's the temperature going, guys? Students from nearby schools are invited in to create their own products. I didn't expect so much like fancy big machine money, but um, yeah, it's been really cool. The Beauty Lab is a social enterprise founded by artist Kersha Keshela, wife of the Museum of Old and New Art owner David Walsh. She wanted to lift engagement in education in the area and started by asking young people what they're interested in. Again and again, the girls and a few boys would say, beauty, I want to do hair, nails, makeup. The lab is designed to capture that interest and teach science along the way. Kind of lure them in through their interests and trick them into learning. She admits she went rogue on the budget, installing blue onyx bench tops and an Italian glass chandelier. I feel like they elevate a space in a way that that has a ripple effect of engagement. There's a business element to this social enterprise as well, and it turns out being able to sell the products is another great motivator to learn. We have a Bayview market at school, um, and they're, they're so excited to be able to take these products there and sell them and show off to the local community. And it's inspired these students to look to the future. I want to do maybe like scientists, like marine biology. I really like, like skincare and makeup too. Maybe be like a celebrity. <laughs> Big dreams brewing in a small shed. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News.